Good to have you with us here on the South African Morning. I'm Gareth Edwards. The country's deputy president, David Mabuza, is back in our country. He's been receiving medical attention over in Russia. His first public appearance is going to be at the fourth summit of the Human Resources Development Council. But his prolonged absence uh, from duty very much under scrutiny. Lots of questions being asked, aren't they, about his fitness to hold office. Uh, Gallagher Estate is where we go to next. Kai Lukle Kumalo joining us uh, from there. Hello to you, Kai. I'm sure you're going to show us the stage in just a moment uh, but before we even get to uh, the expectation of seeing the deputy president back in South Africa uh, opposition parties up in arms about uh, this trip overseas asking questions about his health and fitness to hold office Well, that's right, Sir Gareth, because, you know, you go back to some period where the presidency issued out a statement where they said uh, the deputy president will be away in Russia for two weeks. But lo and behold, uh, that was a whole month in Russia and so much happened in South Africa. And you know that the deputy president of the Republic of South Africa is also responsible for the businesses of government. But also apart from that, uh, the issue around uh, the role lot of uh, vaccines in South Africa. Uh, Deputy President Mabuza also is a chair of the IMC that is responsible for that. So there has been like, you know, this long period of time where he was away. And in fact, you know, when you're scrutinizing social media as well, there was always this question, where on earth is the Deputy President? But uh, today he's going to make his own uh, public appearance. And of course, this is one of the entities that he chairs, the Human Resource uh, Development Council responsible for skills development in South Africa. We know that our economy, Gareth, has been battered by COVID-19. So this is going to be a very crucial session around uh, really just looking at how to revitalize uh, the economy. But in a very main question around uh, the absence of Mr. Mabuza, even within the ANC circles, you know, you look at the speculation within the NWC, one of the key structures within the ANC, there was one big question you know, whether is a medical feat to continue to serve uh, the country, especially in light of the cabinet reshuffle that we saw. But, uh, you know, he survived all of that. And today it's going to be a big day to see how he's going to survive today. And I suppose the question is going to be, if this is also focusing on the, the economy in South Africa, Kaya, uh, in the last minute I have with you, focusing on the economy uh, and the damage from COVID-19, one would also ask the question, the damage caused by uh, the looting in KZN and Gauteng, how the deputy president is going to address that, considering, of course, he wasn't here when it was happening. Well, precisely, Gareth, because he was missing in action. So there's a great deal of anticipation to hear his address, to look at some of the key areas he's going to look into in terms of making sure that the revitalization and the recovery of the economy of South Africa remains the priority, especially because, you know, he chairs also a number of uh, key IMCs, uh, the interministerial committees that are responsible for making sure that South Africa is able to bounce back. Like you just said, because obviously this has been compounded by the recent destruction and looting that we saw, mainly in Guazu Natal and Gauteng, especially in Guazu Natal, because we know that it's a very key hub for the country. It still does have uh, the Devon Harbour as one of the key institutions for the country's economy, and it was heavily affected. So. We'll just wait and see to really understand what's going to be his key message around uh, these very key aspects around uh, the economic recovery. But, Gareth, you also spoke about the opposition parties uh, seeking answers about uh, the absence of uh, the deputy president. We know that, for example, the Democratic Alliance wants to use PIA Act to try and make sure that the presidency does give a, a full breakdown in terms of the cost of uh, the deputy president while he was uh, still in Russia. Uh, Kai Lechler Kamala for the moment. Thank you very much uh, out at Gallagher Estate for us. The deputy president back in the country. That's right. He is in South Africa. Going to be there later today as well. One has to still ask the question, what medication and health care are you getting in Russia that you can't get uh, here in South Africa? I suppose uh, we won't know for uh, some time. Let's see what's happening.